We were fortunate enough to check out Gigabyte's factory in Taiwan, and this was our first experience exploring the facility as well as how components are manufactured from start to finish. So without any further ado, welcome to our Gigabyte factory tour video. Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. The staff warmly welcomed us with an interesting and fun little activity of manually installing I.O. components, capacitors, and PCI brackets by hand onto the motherboard. I definitely enjoyed this part. Then we moved on to the presentation hall where the presenter took the first 10 minutes going over the history of Gigabyte. The factory was established in the year 2000 and it turns out the Gigabyte is the only factory in Taiwan to manufacture motherboards. Interesting. Now while the factory does make graphics card, power supplies, laptops, and mobile devices, just for presentation purposes, they decided to showcase how motherboards were made. Essentially the process is broken down into four components, SMT, DIP, testing, and packaging. SMT stands for surface mount technology, and this facility is where smaller components are soldered onto the motherboard. It all starts with placing the boards in a stack configuration, and the machine automatically pushes a single piece onto the advanced printer, which reads out the pre-labeled layout, and it goes through a series of soldering tiny components. Once that's done, every single motherboard is inspected for misprinting and they have an integrated chip tester that makes sure the components are well placed and after passing the best ones, off it goes to DIP or in other words, dual inline package. This was one of my favorite parts. The process is primarily based off manual insertion. Every employee is responsible for a single component and this includes larger capacitors, I.O. ports, 24 pin connectors, you name it. They also had this advanced capacitor installing machine uh, that was so quick that I secretly enjoyed the sound. <laughs> After all the components are installed on the board, it has to be double checked to make sure that these components are installed properly. Then these boards go through an intense heat chamber. I was told that it goes all the way up to 265 degrees uh, and the board sits there for about 4 seconds. Uh, this is done to reinforce the manual inserts and right after that, they all go into the testing facility. They use something called a function box and as you can see, literally every I.O. port is connected. All the PCI Express lanes are in use. It goes through several stages of testing until the board passes. It should also be noted that there's a serial barcode in every board and every time they scan it, it pulls up all the information regarding whether or not the testing occurred. Thumbs up Gigabyte for quality control. Last but not least is the packaging. This is where they make sure all the contents of the board goes inside and this includes the I.O. shield, the manual, SATA cables, etc. About 1200 employees work there and 70% of them have more than 15 years of experience. Gigabyte has definitely planned it out very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little factory tour of the Gigabyte facility. Let us know if you'd like to see more of these factory tour videos and stay tuned for more Computex coverage. I'm Ibar with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.